Jared Poland, Fronos Photo. Dot com and whenever new cameras come out, people like to ask a couple of questions and one of those is, can it actually meet the actual frame rate that the camera manufacturers say that the camera can capture? In this case with the R3 is they say that it can shoot 30 frames a second, but in the real world, in real world situations, can you actually get 30 frames in one second? And we're gonna show you if that's possible in just a second. And the second question that people always ask is, what's the hit rate? And I honestly hate talking about hit rate, but because they ask it, we are going to show you. So we've got three different samples and examples to show you, starting with this one of Little Dan. Now I did a burst of 78 with Little Dan running at me. Now let me tell you what lens I had on. I had the 85 1.2, shooting at 1.2. So if it can succeed doing this with an 85 1.2, I think it can succeed with just about anything. So right here, out of the 78, I have 30 selected because we wanna see if this 30 is actually one full second. So we're on the first image right now. Look over here to the right. It's at 301 and 30 seconds. So we're gonna go back to the next one. So I'm gonna hit back because they're all highlighted and there you can also see that it's 30 highlighted down here and now we go back to the time, it's 3.01 and 30 seconds. The one after that right here, we can see that it switches to 31. But look at this in action. So I'm gonna select all 30 and watch this. That's 30 frames in a second, one whole second. So yes, in this situation, the camera gave us 30 frames in one second. It's verified right here with an 85 1.2. But what about focus? What was the hit rate? Let's go ahead and select all 78 just so I can show you what 78 frames looks like in a row. So we go back to here and we go all the way. I gotta keep scrolling because it's 78. It's 78. Wow. Now look at the bokeh shift. Look at the difference here, I'm gonna go backwards. Look at the shift from here to here. Obviously, he gets closer and it blows it out completely. In this, 78 images, only two were slightly out. In the 30 frames that I showed you, it was 100% hit rate in those 30. So that one whole second, 100%, nothing was out of focus. And the 31st shot from there, this one actually focused on his ear, but then the next one, is back in and then out of the 78 only one other one was slightly off on his ear so that's pretty insane with a subject running directly towards you shooting at 1.2 with a massive lens where the old 85 could barely keep up with a moving subject that was just walking honestly it could barely keep up with a with a portrait subject that was right in front of you with this example we got 30 frames in one second all 30 of those frames were in focus, and out of the 78 in that one burst, only two were out. But let's go to something even more extreme, a skateboarder. All right, so I took 57 of this skateboarder starting at the top, jumping off the ramp, and then coming towards me doing some squiggly lines because he wasn't coming in a straight line. You can see that I've selected 30 once again. I'm doing this just to show you that it's 30 frames. So we're at 321 and 32 seconds. We'll go back, that's the last one of the 30. That's 321 and 32 seconds. The one right after it, that is 33 seconds. So out of those, that was 100% hit rate with those 30 frames. But what about the 57? Let me show you the 57 in action first because this is pretty, pretty darn insane and impressive. So now we have 57 selected. I'm just gonna run through this a bunch. Just look at this, it's literally real time. Let's look at the last picture. Let's look at the last picture, because I want to show you something. It's still in focus on his face, even though half his face is out of the frame. Out of those 57 images, how many were out of focus, Steven? Zero. Zero. None. It was 100% hit rate in this case, using the 70 to 200 2.8 RF. Now this isn't saying that with every lens you put on it, you're gonna get 100% hit rate. I don't think you're gonna get 100% hit rate when there's multiple people in the frame, but I'm gonna show you an example of that in just a second. But also if you're adapting lenses, you may not get the same 30 frames per second. This is with the RF glass natively on the R3. We haven't tested it out with third-party lenses or adapting 
adapted EF glass, but I guess when we get a body in our hands, we'll try that out again. But now, let me show you one where there's multiple people in the frame to see how well it does. Let me jump in here real quick to show you FroPack 3 in action on this file from the Canon R3, starting with Fifth Element. Fifth Element gives it a pretty unique look right off the bat. Next, we've got Almost Famous with No Grain. It kind of gives it a pretty filmic look, which is actually pretty cool. Then we've got Eckert, which is a really good catch-all one, and Prestige Worldwide looks really good on this as well. Look at that. But I do want to go back to Fro Pack 1 to show you two of these. We've got Waffle House. That, I just, I mean, I love the way that one looks. And then, of course, one of my go-tos is Skittles to make it go boom. Now, if you're looking to give yourself a great starting point as well as speed up your raw workflow, we created 15 all new custom Lightroom presets that you can check out right now at fronosphoto.com slash fropack3. While you're over there, you can play with the sliders to see the befores and the afters. If you decide to pick them up right now, they are still on sale. Or if you want to get Fropack 1, Fropack 2, and Fropack 3 together as an ultimate bundle, you can do that and save even more. Now, let's get back to the video. All right, so now I've selected 27 images, and in this scene, we have multiple people. We have people in the background, we have people in the foreground, there's the soccer ball, and I do want to say that when I'm taking action shots, I don't sit there and hold the shutter down for two and three seconds at a time. I like to do bursts, and a quick burst with 30 frames a second will give you 10, 15 shots, and then you lift your finger and you take another burst again, and that's what I did here. I took these images first. All right, so we've got him coming across, as that ball shoots across the frame, there's a guy in the background, and I'm taking a quick burst. Then, right here, I lifted my finger at this point, because you can see in the timestamp, it's at 53 seconds, and the next one's at 54. So what did I do is I lifted my finger, and I wanted to probably recompose and the whole time this is happening, my finger's not pressed on the shutter button, but the Canon R3 knows to still look for the faces, and it will still highlight the face that you want to get, so that when you press the shutter down again, it's going to lock back on. And that's exactly what it did here. I did a burst, I lifted my finger, I moved around, literally less than a second or about a second, and pressed it again, and he's in focus. All 27 of these shots are in focus. So like I said earlier, not everything is going to be perfect. You're not gonna get a 100% hit rate every time, but I would be very interested to put this camera, a production model at 30 frames a second against the Sony A1 at 30 frames per second and see how it works out. Now we know that that one pushes a 50 megapixel image but that's what the camera does. So we're gonna shoot it at what it does, and we're gonna shoot the Canon at what it does, and we're gonna see, do they both give you 30 frames in that one second? We're gonna do our best to make that as scientific as possible, but I wanted to put this video out just to show you that yes, this camera can shoot 30 frames in one second, and the hit rate is absolutely insane. So are there any questions that you have? If so, let us know down below. When we get a full-on production unit in our hands, we'll run it through some more tests and we'd like to hear what you would like us to do. So this was pretty awesome to see what it could do. Thank you guys very much for watching. Jared, Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.